skin, Big Bandage. Hey guys, Peter Progress 23, aka Elizabeth here. Welcome back to the Acne channel. Now, I'm gonna warn you guys, this video is gonna be super, super intense. It's going to be about antibiotics and how it completely, utterly destroyed my gut system and caused me to have severe sister acne that lasted for so many years. <laughs> So if you're watching, you're probably here for a couple of reasons. Perhaps you are currently on antibiotics and you're kind of wondering what the hell is this title on about? Or you might be here because you're thinking about taking antibiotics and seeing it as a long-term solution to your acne. Or maybe you've just finished taking antibiotics and you need help. So if you're one of these three people, stay tuned. So let's start from the beginning. What is antibiotics? Antibiotics is a prescribed medication that kills all the bacteria in your system. That way, there's no bacteria on your skin anymore and you won't produce any more acne. But the thing is, people are so quick, especially doctors and dermatologists, they're so quick to prescribe you antibiotics because they're like, one look at your face and they're like, yep, that's bacteria, gonna give you antibiotics and your acne will be gone. But the thing is, your acne may not be the cause of bacterial infection. It might be because of inflammation in your body. It might be because of hormonal genetics modification. Who knows, right? Acne is a number of different things. And if they prescribe you antibiotics when your acne isn't even bacterial, then it's not gonna help your system. And what it does is it's killing all the bacteria in your body. Now, you have bad bacteria, which is the, uh, go away, get out of my body. But you also have the good bacteria. The good bacteria keeps a balance within your gut system. Your gut environment, well, correct me if I'm wrong, is called your microbiome. And within your microbiome, you need a balance of both worlds. You need your bad bacteria and your good bacteria. I'm just simplifying the language so then we can all understand because that's how I understand it. So hopefully you guys are understanding. <laughs> okay, so you need a balance of both worlds. And when you are consuming those antibiotic tablets or pills or whatever, what happens is you can't differentiate from the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. So it kills everything. And then your body's like, what is happening? You're getting rid of the good bacteria that I need in order for my system to function. And because there's no good bacteria, what it does is it, it grows more bacteria within your gut because that's the only thing it could do. It's sending out bad, more bacteria in your gut because there is an absence of the good bacteria. And that overgrowth of bacteria i know i'm saying bacteria a lot but that overgrowth of bacteria causes you to get more and more acne it sets your body off like as if there's no to, that there's, there's no way of going back it's kind of like that right it puts your body into shock and because your gut is pretty much one of the most important functions of your body if that is off balance your whole body goes out of whack the reason why your gut health is so important is because your gut is in control of a lot of factors. Your body is like a system. It all relies on each other. If something goes wrong, everything else goes wrong. That's my perspective. That's why when it comes to acne, I look at a holistic method in order to heal. So let's say you take antibiotics. Your gut is then weakened and destroyed. What happens is that imbalance of bacteria where there's only bad bacteria, like the overgrowth of yeast and bacteria, what happens is your immune system is no longer protected by the gut. The, the gut is in control of strengthening your immune system. So if your gut is bad, your immune system is threatened. And once your immune system is threatened, that means your body is unable to fight back, fight off all the bacteria that is attacking your body. And that includes the acne bacteria on your skin and because your body cannot fight that, what happens is the bacteria in your skin multiplies at a completely rapid pace where you, can, you can't control it. It's like you wake up and you're like, what the heck? How did this happen to my face? How did I get like six pimples at a time? That's because your body is not healing and your immune system is weak. And then if you have digestive problems where you're farting, where you're unable to absorb the nutrients, what happens is there's a buildup of toxins in your body. And we all know that the skin is the largest organ that detoxes the skin. If, it's, if all the toxins are trapped into your body, what happens is your skin will be like, hey, let me help, let me flush out all the toxins for you. And it comes out through your skin and what do you get? Clogged pores, acne surfacing from the top of your skin and you just 
I was in this situation, I felt completely hopeless. I'm like, I thought antibiotics is meant to help my skin. Hell no, it does not. In the long term run, it is not the best solution. If you have severe cystic acne, I would still steer away from antibiotics because like after my course of antibiotic, my body just couldn't bounce back up. And that's because I was illy informed about antibiotics. And the doctors did not tell me that I needed to take probiotics, right? Probiotics is introducing all the good bacteria back into your system. But at the same time, if your antibiotics is too strong, there is no point of taking probiotics because it was just gonna get destroyed anyway. So you have to make sure you go to the chemist, you have to ask for the strongest probiotics when you're taking the antibiotics. So for those who haven't taken antibiotics yet, you can still take probiotics to make sure that you have a balance in your body. If you're currently taking antibiotics, make sure you go to the chemist right now and get your range of probiotics. Now probiotics can be in a form of tablet form where you can get 32 billion of good bacteria. You can, you can change the strains every three months. If you don't like taking like tablet form, I highly recommend drinking kombucha. Kombucha is, an, is fermented black tea that really heals the gut. It introduces all those good bacteria and it cleanses the gut. And basically, once your gut is cleansed and strong, you will find that your immune system is performing much better. So you don't get sick as much, you feel more energetic and alive. So that's another way of getting probiotics. Or you can have fermented veggies. So like kimchi, you can have say, kefir, but I don't eat kefir, I just don't like it. I just go with my probiotic tablets, I go with my kombucha, and I also really enjoy having a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar mixed with a glass of cold water. I just sip with a straw because I don't want to like ruin the enamel of my tea because apple cider vinegar is quite strong. And honestly, it stinks like so bad, but you'll get used to it. And it cleanses the gut again, and we know how important gut is. I, I know I'm repeating myself, but seriously, it's really important. What you can also do is taking zilch. Now, zilch is 100% Chinese herbal medicine that is supernatural, and basically it is created by Dr. Vivian Tan, and she is a doctor in Chinese medicine. And basically what it does is it helps you clear the toxicity in your body. So that holistic kind of cleansing through your diet, through taking probiotics, through ensuring that you don't take any more antibiotics and having Chinese herbal medicine is all the things that you can do in order to heal your cystic acne. Basically what happened was I was very young and naive and I took so many courses of antibiotics and I'm telling you, I just was so blinded. I was. I was opting for these solutions because I was desperate to get rid of my acne. And I'm gonna tell you this because I care for you and it's gonna be the honest, brutal truth, but you have to tell yourself that you need to be more patient. Patience is one of the greatest one of the greatest qualities you can ever have. Acne will try to pull you down, acne will make you feel hopeless and horrible and ugly, but if you have that inner strength and that patience and that discipline, I promise you, you will get to that, that point where your skin will be so clear and you will come out the one of the heroes of your own story and of your own book, I'm telling you. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it took me years to heal my gut and I'm here where I am now and I'm, I just don't want to look back. But at the same time, I want to use my experience to help you guys. Not many people tell you to take probiotics. I, I mean, all the followers that I have on my Instagram page have told me that they weren't aware that you had to take probiotics to balance the gut. And sometimes you're taught in schools, but I wasn't taught in school. And I guess you can call me ignorant, you can call me silly and stupid, but honestly, that's what acne does to you. Sometimes acne puts you in desperate situations and they make you and it puts you in, in a position where you make rash decisions so always remember to research before you take an advice from a doctor like it doesn't hurt to get second professional advice it doesn't hurt to do your own research as well because sometimes doctors are too quick to prescribe you things and beat you out of the door and they don't really care about you but i do <laughs> 
So I've taken so many different courses of antibiotics. I've taken minomycin, I've taken doxycycline, I've taken ethromycin. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'll put it into the, the caption below. And I was just under the illusion that the more antibiotics, the more effective it will be, the more we'll get rid of all the bacteria in my body and on my face. Boy, I was wrong. I went through so much pain where I would wake up in the mirror and, and see that my skin got worse and worse and worse. Like, yeah, antibiotics got rid of my pimples, you know, for a month or two, and then it all came back with vengeance. And I was put in a really, really dark place. So what would I do? I would go out to the doctors and ask for their advice. And I'll be like, what do I need? Just tell me and I'll buy it. And what do they do? They wanted to prescribe me more antibiotics, stronger antibiotics, or they wanted to put me on Accutane. And it was just an endless cycle of prescriptions. And I think it's really important to try to sit back and figure out what natural methods you can do in order to heal, right? But at the same time, if you are currently on antibiotics, you can, one tip I would, like a few tips is like, take probiotics while you're on antibiotics. Also use a tropical treatment because while your antibiotics is working to get rid of that bacteria internally, you also have to take external measures where you kill the bacteria on the surface level. So both external and internal solutions will work in hand in hand and join and that joining of forces will give you the most effective method. As soon as you get off antibiotics, make sure you continue those courses of probiotics. I'm not here to scare you, I'm just here to inform you. So I hope this somehow helps you. Comment below your experiences because I would love to hear it. So I hope this helps. I know I spoke really fast but I just want to get all the information out to you. I'll see you on my social media, Pretty Progress 23 and I'm sending you all my love and light. Mwah. See you guys later. There's a